Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Schultz. Today's story comes to us from Charles Skinner. This is A Blow in the Dark. The Tory Mannheim sits brooding in his farmhouse near Valley Forge, and his daughter, with a hectic flush on her cheek, looks out into the twilight at the falling snow. She is worn and ill. She has brought on a fever by exposure incurred that very day in a secret journey to the American camp, made to warn her lover of another attempt on the life of Washington, who must pass her father's house on his return from a distant settlement. The Tory knows nothing of this, but he starts whenever the men in the next room rattle the dice or break into a ribald song, and a frown of apprehension crosses his face as the foragers crunch by, half barefoot, through the snow. The hours go on, and the noise in the next room increases, but it hushes suddenly when a knock at the door is heard. The Tory opens it, and trembles as a tall, grave man, with the figure of an athlete, steps into the firelight and calmly removes his gloves. "'I've been riding far,' said he. "'Can you give me some food, and the chance to sleep for an hour until the storm clears up?' Mannheim says that he can, and shuffling into the next room, he whispers, Washington. The girl is sent out to get refreshments. It is in vain that she seeks to sign or speak to the man who sits there so calmly before the fire, for her father is never out of sight or hearing. After Washington has finished his modest repast, he asks to be left to himself for a while but the girl is told to conduct him to the room on the left of the landing on the next floor. Her father holds the candle at the foot of the stairs until he sees his guest enter. Then he bids his daughter to go to her own bed, which is in the chamber on the right of the landing. There is busy whispering in the room below after that, and the dice box is shaken to see to whose lot it shall fall to steal up those stairs and stab Washington in his sleep. An hour passes, and all in the house appear to be at rest. But the stairs creak slightly as Mannheim creeps upon his prey. He blows out his candle and softly enters the chamber on the left. The men, who listen in the dark at the foot of the stair, hear a moan, and the Tory hurries back with a shout of gladness, for the rebel chief is no more and Howe's reward will enrich them for life. Glasses are filled, and in the midst of the rejoicing a step is heard on the stair. Washington stands before them. In calm, deep tones, he thanks the farmer for his shelter, and asks that his horse be brought to the door, and his reckoning be made out. The Tory stares as one bereft. Then he rushes aloft, flings open the door of the room on the left, and gazes at the face that rests on the pillow, a pillow that is dabbled with red. The face is that of his daughter. The name of father is one that he will never hear again in this world. The candle falls from his hand. He sinks to the floor. Be his sin forgiven. Outside is heard the tramp of a horse. It is that of Washington, who rides away, ignorant of the peril he has passed and the sacrifice that averted it. And that is the American folk tale of A Blow in the Dark by Charles Skinner. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, anywhere that you like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio and TuneIn Radio. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every weekday morning. Thanks for listening.